Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, Annie, I don't know for those kids who may be playing outside today with chalk or, you know, I'm going to be another <laughs> hot one, huh? Just uh, that chalk will not be melting this morning and no joke with these temperatures. That's right. We're seeing cooler conditions early on four degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday here for Tulsa. I know it's not a big difference, but hey, it's a small win in my book and I think we'll take it considering we've had just a stretch of very hot and humid temperatures. No heat advisories across the state for today, so that's some good news as well. So we are anticipating our feels like temperatures this afternoon to remain below 105 degrees. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Small win again. That's good news. Here we go. Let's talk about high pressure right now. We are seeing that remaining just across the Red River. And with that, it's going to kick any precipitation out. It's also going to keep a lot of those clouds out of the area. So make sure that you have your sunglasses. We're going to see widespread sun for today. 75 at this hour. High and low temperature yesterday was 97 and 74. We dropped into those lower 70s. Believe it or not, Bartlesville, you guys dropped into those upper 60s this morning. Very pleasant. If you missed it, you still got a little time before we start to heat things up. Northeast winds out six miles per hour at this time. 75, good morning, Muskogee. 77 over in Tahlequah, 74 over in Coffeeville. There's that widespread sun anticipated for today. Yes, it's hot and humid, but Thankfully, I didn't have to put very hot and humid for today. We're going to see those 90s returning to the forecast by this afternoon with feels like temperatures again staying below that threshold of 105 where we would be issued a heat advisory if we were to get there. So we're going to stay about 101 this afternoon into the early evening hours. So temperatures are expected to feel closer to the actual temperature for today. 96 for your daytime high, 101 for your Monday Triple digits returning, so yes, it's going to be a hot one for your start of the work week, but we're going to see those temperatures trying to level out by Tuesday into Wednesday. As we're looking on future track, we do have high pressure and control northeast winds. Our next line will be arriving into Tuesday into Wednesday morning. With this, it's looking to bring the better opportunity for showers and storms to the panhandle, extending over into Kansas here for our area. Unfortunately, it's looking like by the time it gets here, we're going to get a measly 15% out of this, squeezing it out. So counties north of Tulsa might get it on that slim 15%. The rest of us keep watering, keep preparing, make sure you're watering either early on or later on because that heat and that humidity will be building in and that's going to create the, some issues later on. We have 90s uh, for the work week, but then triple digits returning Friday to Saturday and those look like to be Stick it around in the extended planner. So our second heat wave of triple digits, Julie, what is going on?